All right, Shalom. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to give our praises to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem, Rekai Kedash. Devon and Sales, Prophet Gray Mills, Tom Thomas, Truth and Ruel. Peace, blessing, and salutation. I come out there. Scared about to fall in the earth. That's certain the truth, our true sincerity. To us, say Shalom. Well, this is a button to follow. Continue another video in the spirit. And the top of this video is going to be about. You no, know, not falling, not falling out after the way of the heathen, you know. And this basically is going along because, uh, you know, we just passed, you know, that that wicked holiday that just happened, you know. You know, Jake, you know, Jake loved to, you know, partake in that in that wicked holiday, you know, not fully knowing, you know, what's 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 the true meaning behind the holiday, you know, what's going on. Jake just wanna. Find a way just to just to be able to party and BS, you know, and that's a, that's a it's a heathen holiday, it's a heathen custom, and we're not supposed to be partaking in that, you know. We're supposed to be following the the, the holy days that Yahweh Shemuel Shai set up for us, okay. And if it's if it's not, and there's only three, the three high holy days. And if you don't follow those three high holy days, you know, then ultimately you're not following the Lord. You know, we're not supposed to be out here indulging in all this other stuff that um these heathens be having to go on. You know, we let them let them do that and we supposed to be continually to serve the Lord, Yah Okay. Let's grab a couple scriptures. Now, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Let's go to Isaiah chapter thirty four. No, so it's, it's like it is Isaiah. Jeremiah 10 and 2, I'm starting one. It says, Hear the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, Learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the sons of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. It says, For the custom of the people are in vain, for one cut a tree out of the forest, the work of hands of the workmen with the axe. Yeah. It says, it says the for, for the customs for the customs of the people are vain. They they have those their customs are vain, man. You know they don't have, they don't hold no value to them. Okay, you know, and and a lot of these customs is for them to to be able to worship uh, these other spirits, and we're not supposed to do that. Okay, the scriptures say we're not supposed to have no other no other God before Yahweh by Shema Shah. Okay, these a lot of these um okay holidays. Are tied to uh some type of uh some type of God, you know, and basically when you chose to partake in it, basically that's showing you serving another God, and that's basically you sinning against Shahab Bashem uh, and and E knows that, you know, E has made these wicked holidays, you know, to 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 get our people to uh, to partake in them, to get to to make them go off. Because when every time we sin, that's taking us further, further away from our power, which is Yahweh Shem Shai. So we're not supposed to learn the way of the heathen. Okay, we're supposed to continue to follow the way that the Lord has set up for us. You know, we're supposed to abide by the statute, the law, statute, commandments that the Lord set up for us. And He'll get that. He only gave that to the nation of Israel. Okay, He didn't do that to these other nations. So you can, these other nations of people, their their lineage don't go back to being an Israelite. Then they can do whatever they want, because the Lord doesn't care. He's not dealing with them. But when it comes to the to the Israelites, okay, the niggers, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Lord's chosen people, that's what He's concerned about. And out of the, and out of the nation of Israel, He's only really concerned about the elect. So let me grab this. This is Exodus 23 and 2. It says, Thou shalt not follow a much to do, to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Yeah. It says, Follow not a much to, to do evil. And that's what Jake does. Okay? Jake basically seeing other Jake doing it and just want to go along with them. Okay? Because Joke be one of what they just want to get along with the get along. Okay? They um they seek and they, they trim their ways to seek love. Like the scriptures say, 
And that's not the type of mindset we're supposed to be in. Okay, we're supposed to be separate. Okay, we're holy. Holy means separate. We're separate from these other nations of people. You know, we're supposed to be in our own mind. So that's that's why we got to continue to to think and live and to move by. Let me grab this. This is First Kings eight and fifty three. Hold on one second. All right, this is first. It's like it. This is first Kings eight and fifty three. It says, "For thou didst separate them from among all the people of the earth to be thine inheritance, as thou spakest by the hand of Moses thy servant, when thou broughtest our fathers out of Egypt, O Lord." And how? So yeah, you know, you know, the Lord has has made us separate from all of all the different nations of people upon the earth. Okay, we are the Lord's inheritance. So that being said, it's a certain type of standard that we are we're supposed to be held to, you know, a certain type of way we're supposed to conduct ourselves, you know. We're not supposed to be um, indulging in all these different things that these other nations of people indulge in. Because, like, and again, when you go to Psalms 83, you know, it talks about they have taken crafty counsel against our hidden ones. What was that talking about? You know, it gives you a list of all our enemies. And starting with Esau Edom, the so-called white man, and going all the way down. So all those nations that are listed in that chapter are our enemies, okay? And they are taking crafty counsel against us to what they ultimately try to cut us off from being a nation. And that's, that goes into these um these wicked holidays they have set up, you know? And you know, them continue, these nations of people continually uh, have us going off, you know, by you know, the dietary law. You know, and so on and so on. So that's why when you got the scriptures that's talking about arising, depart from this place, from this Israel sort of destruction, like it says in uh, maybe that's, uh, Micah 2 and 10, you know. You got uh, Jeremiah 51, and starting at verse 6, it says, flee out of the midst of Babylon. You know, we got we to gotta, uh, mentally um, flee, out of the, flee out of the philosophies of this place. Not following out the um the manner of which America conducts itself, you know, and come back into our knowledge, our glory, which is in the which is in these scriptures, and truly serving Yahweh Shai. So I'm gonna grab this last scripture. This is Psalms one forty seven nineteen. Says he showed his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He have not done so with any nation, and for and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise the Lord. So there you go. The Lord only gave you these, his thoughts, and your commandments to the nation of Israel. He's not done so in no other nation. Okay, so this is our heritage, and these other nations, especially starting with E, they know that. Okay. When E, you know, he's 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 still, you know, he's still butthurt, you know, by him not receiving that blessing. So with him being still butthurt about that, um, he he has basically, you know, created these these um pagan holidays, you know, put us in this uh put us in this captivity, you know, put all these things in front of our faces to to continue to keep us in a in a um. And a sleep mindset to to keep us down, to keep us to try to keep us far away from our power as much as he can. But if you're of the elect, then you cannot be deceived by these things that he's trying to do. Okay, you're gonna be in your right mind. So that's what we have to do, and that's how we, that's what we have to continue to do until Yahweh Shah returns and delivers us from this. <coughs> so like yeah. And deliver us from this situation that we're in. So that's pretty much it. Lord, when this video is out of fun, I'm going to close off by giving our praises to Yahweh. Mashem Yahweh Shai. Mashem Kagadash. Shalom.